the coal dust issue uh, came to light approximately six or seven years ago in the Powder River Basin area. Uh, the, the main area impacted was within about 30 miles of the, the mine site, and they noticed that without any material surfactant on the, the cars that coal dust was accumulating and creating maintenance problems. So they went to the shippers and, you know, that's where the battle began as to who was going to pay to, to uh, take care of the problem. Ultimately, the, the shipper was responsible. They came up with a plan to, uh, they actually form a, um, a contoured shape so it's more aerodynamically uh, sound and then they apply a surfactant. I believe after they did tests, there was five surfactants that passed muster and they have to reach the at least the minimum 85% threshold uh, as a surfactant. So that means that that's the, the bare minimum. That keeps the, the, uh, the dust down and, and controls it. At this point, when the train reached Washington State or Washington, Oregon, there is no uh, dust that is leaving the train any measurable amount, and they have scientists or, and people that did those types of studies to to track this because they were going to charge a tariff to, to the coal companies if, if they detected any. They didn't and they went to surface transportation like you mentioned.